Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the bomber number LB4311C-350-646. This is a 3.5 inch by 3.5 inch single acting spring hinge, full mortise, contract grade, lube bearing, steel based and satin nickel plated. So let's go over the part number, let's dissect it a bit. So LB stands for lube bearing. It's a maintenance free construction uh, type of construction from Bomber as it pertains to uh, not only spring hinges, but some of their other hinges as well, but especially spring hinges. So it's a concealed maintenance free sort of bearing construction that they have here. The 4311 refers to the, uh, the corners, quarter inch radius, and refers to the pattern of holes for the screws. So this hinge is a 4311, which is known because it has quarter inch radius corners, and it has a template pattern for the screw holes. There is a link below this video to a document called Template that will allow you to review the specific locations of those. Now the C means that the thickness of the leaf is 130 thousandths, okay? which is thicker than a standard uh, residential 3.5 by 3.5 inch hinge. So 4311C all conspires to mean all of these different items. Okay, a confluence of quarter inch screw hole locations and 130 thousandths. Now the 350 in the part number, that's going to mean that the hinge is 3.5 inch tall and it means that it's 3.5 inch wide as well. Height is the first dimension on most hinges, but not all. So when you say that a hinge is three and a half by three and a half, it means it's three and a half tall by three and a half wide. Now it really doesn't matter when you have a square hinge or the height and the width are the same dimension, but it would matter if your hinge was a wide throw uh, or uh, maybe you had a, um, a uh, like a four foot hollow metal door and it was hung on five by four and a half inch hinges it'd be very important to know that that hinge was five tall rather than four and a half tall. Anyway, nuance aside, the 646 in the part number means two things. It means that it's steel based and that it is a satin nickel finish on steel. And this hinge is gonna be available in all of the common finishes, your brass, your bronze, your chromes, satin, polished, oil rubbed, prime coat, bright black Japan, zinc coated, zinc dichromate, Bomber will entertain practically any finish that, they will entertain any finish that can be done and they'll entertain practically every possible finish. So if the finish that you need is not listed, feel free to reach out to us. It would certainly be a special order, but if you need that specific finish, then there you go. Now, uh, below this video are the, is the extended description, full mortise. You can see from the swag on the hinge leaf there that the leaves are meant to be mortised flush to the edge of the door and frame when the uh, leaves are brought parallel. Contract grade, again, that means that this is 130 thousandths thick. A standard three and a half, three and a half hinge is uh, 87 thousandths, something like that. UL listed for fire door applications. Grade one, which means it's compliant with a million life cycle. That means heavy, very heavy duty. Non-handed, this hinge can be handed on, uh, installed on either a left hand door or right hand door. Self lubricating bearings, we went over that, that LB part of the part number. ANSI templated screw hole pattern, we referred to the template down below where you can see where those locations are. And speaking of holes in the hinge for screws, screws indeed are included. You're gonna get all wood and all machine screws in a complimentary finish. Pivot point aligns with commercial butt hinges between 123 and 134 thousandths of an inch. That means that you can mix and match this hinge with non-spring hinges so long as their thickness of the leaf is within that range. And that specifically means that they are not intended to work with a residential grade hinge because, well, because the vertical, the axis of piv pivoting needs to be plumb and it would be in a different location if you had a thinner leaf hinge, which is what that means. Uh, steel base, quarter inch, 130,000, six holes. Now, 
Uh, easily adjustable spring tension. Let's go over that. There's a link below this video to installation instructions. It's also printed on the back side of the box. If your order comes in a box, it'll be here. If, it's, if it doesn't, let's say you order one, Iveria will likely take it out of a box or two and send you the loose hinge. Well, the link to the installation instructions are there on the website, should you need to refer to them. Uh, and let's go over that now before we go any further with the other and final link below this video. Okay, with every order that you place, you'll get a tension rod. With every hinge that you order, you'll get a tension pin, that silver pin that's there. When you have the hinges installed and this tension collar, you see there's one here but not here, when the tension collar is towards the top of the door, insert the tension rod into one of the holes and turn it clockwise, you'll reveal new additional holes. It's into one of those holes that you'll stick the tension pin, and that's how you set tension on the hinge. It's that simple. The, certifica the certifications and hinge selection guide, the final link, also printed on the box as well, will tell you, will give you a guideline by which how many hinges you'll use uh, based on the weight of the door. Three and a half, three and a half. If you've got a 75 pound, a 70 pound door, they want two spring hinges and a ball bearing regular hinge. They don't call out ball bearing, but do make it ball bearing by all means and install that ball bearing hinge at the top location. Hinge, spring hinges, middle and bottom. Uh, go, the last place you'd put a spring hinge is in the top, loca in the top hinge location. 90 pound door, go with all three spring hinges. I'm a fan of all spring hinges, and it's not because I'm a distributor of spring hinges, as much as my experience has taught me that when you have more spring power rather, rather than less on reserve or on call or doing the job, the more effective uh, operation you'll have, the more predictable and reliable operation of the door that you'll have. A spring hinge, in my opinion, is not the way to control a door because there's, in effect, no control over a spring. A, a door closer, like a hydraulic door co closer, would be a way to control a door because you can literally control its closing cycle, whereas this is just a spring. The more tension you set, the more stored energy there will be as you open the door to 90 or past 90 degree. If you're on the borderline, maybe you need just one spring hinge because you have a hollow core door, and you just want to keep that door closed because you don't heat that room all winter long, and you're just going to keep it closed. One hinge is probably going to work because whether or not it latches is a different story. In a lot of scenarios, you will not be able to get the door to actually not only close but latch without setting the tension so high uh, and running the risk of damaging the hinge or destroying the hinge or it's so high that the door slams just so that you build enough inertia for the door to limp its way closed. More spring hinges equal the ability to not have to tax the spring beyond what it's engineered for and in that crucial last 10 degree or 20 degree, 15 degree of closing cycle, there's enough residual stored energy, there's enough stored energy to get the, the door to actually latch and close without having to make it slam. It's like a tugboat. They don't go very fast, but they pull a lot of weight. And having extra spring tension on reserve is my analogy to that tugboat. You want to be able to have the power there to actually get the job done. So I opt towards more rather than less. A, a real good scenario of that would be the exterior door. And a three and a half, three and a half, it could be that you've got a, um, a common area door. I've seen uh, residential pre-hungs with glass, whatnot, with three and a half by three and a half inch hinges, even though they're inch and three quarter, I would expect a four by four, but I see plenty of three and a half, three and a half as well. Uh, the settings on this, let's say that this is a, a multi-unit building, like a three flat or a six flat common entrance, the setting on that on those spring hinges to get the door to close and latch because it's an electric strike, let's say, connected to intercoms, will be different in the winter than it is in the summer. In the winter, everything's closed, the windows are closed, the air pressure is different, and you can change the setting. You can dial up the setting a little bit, whereas in the summertime, you, you've got a different environmental condition, and you can modify uh, the setting on the spring hinges. More allows more potential for predictable, reliable operation. Okay, So that's 
uh, where I feel that comes in. If you have a spring hinge, they are talking about in the hinge selection and certification guide of, I don't see it off the top of my hand, but three holes of tension set if you get to past 90 degree, four holes would be permissible if you're getting to only 90 degree. Okay, I believe it should be on this page, but, but at this moment I'm not able to locate it. Maybe it's not on here. Uh, the fact that it's a grade one hinge tells you that it is of the heaviest caliber that is defined when they rate hardware a million cycles. And it's a very fine quality item. The last thing I'd like to point out to you is the Bomber logo, and right above it it says Made in USA. A fact that Bomber is quite proud of, as am I to represent them. If you have any questions on the Bomber, LB4311C-350-646, single acting 3.5 inch satin nickel commercial grade spring hinge, or any other Bomber product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.